Well guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video we're gonna show you how to install the Cork Sport 80 millimeter catback exhaust on a 2021 Mazda 3, the turbo one. So uh, let's go ahead, check out the car as high as we can do safely. Again guys, if you don't, if you cannot do it safely, please don't do it, okay? That's how the car sound like guys before the muffler all the exhaust notification we're gonna install and that's the box for it and we're gonna install it you hear it it's beautiful quiet but we don't want to quiet we want crazy so let's see how we're gonna do it step by step okay guys we got everything open here for the exhaust and as you can see nice finish uh, instructions you have a mid pipe instruction handy but all the instruction you're gonna have to scan that qr code so you're gonna get the instruction on your phone maybe you can download it transfer it to your um laptop if you need to make sure uh you have it in the laptop just a bigger screen so you can see well uh and look at this guys you see the tip here oh the same pipe yeah, yeah. Look at this, and ah, okay. that's what's gonna be. I think this one. Go it, it, can <laughs> eat, it can eat the other one. Yeah. So that's the 80 uh, millimeter, which is I think three point something inches, uh, all the way from after cat all the way, same three something yeah, inches, 80 tell. millimeter. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start to remove things, and we'll show you what we're gonna remove, and uh, we'll start. We're gonna start by uh, removing the shield. So we're gonna. What size is ten? A ten. Yes. So we have some ten millimeters and. Uh, there is like eight of them. Yeah. And there is what else other than the ten millimeter? Uh, have, uh, there's a couple of plastic tabs right here. One, two, three, four. This one is broken. But other than this, it's just. 10 millimeters it, and those yeah. plastic tabs. Yeah, I think they are 8, 10 millimeters. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove all of these. So actually our sheet has only 5, 10 millimeters, not 8. They say there's some model 8 and some models 5, so we have the 5. Uh, 10 millimeter bolts and the four uh, plastic tabs. Now we're gonna move to these uh, two support here. We have uh, the X one, yep. and we have the uh, middle one here. It's a straight one, oh. and these are uh, what 14? Uh, it looks like 12s. These are 12s. Yeah, they are so 12. They are 12. So we have uh, four, four, eight. Uh, four uh, each, so one, two, two, three, four, five, six, six. six I think. Uh, maybe we have a couple tens here, but let me okay. check first. Uh, actually, let's rub drive. Actually, they are. Yeah, let's remove. It's what? 10 or 12? Tw uh, 12. And I think these four here for the uh, crossbar here will be a 12 too. So let's go ahead and remove all of them. We're gonna have also to remove these four 10 millimeters here. Uh, yeah, actually, there's two 10s and two 12s. And four nuts. Nice. Two of them are 12s. Two of them are tens. So the two towards the front are tens, the two towards the back are twelve. Yes. And this crossbar and the other, like the X and the other one, after you guys remove it, you slide it to the back. Because it's, it's... Yeah, there's a lock it's here. Lock. So here. you slide it this way. Yeah. Do we need to remove these? Looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna More tens. These two. More tens. 
So how many total? Uh, so so six, far, six, twelve volts. Six, six, twelve, twelve volts. Six millimeters. Twelve volts. Six, six volts. Twelve, twelve millimeters. Two nuts. Ten two, millimeters. Two ten millimeter bolts. Two ten millimeter bolts. Uh, two twelve millimeters nuts and two ten nuts. Yeah. And now just slide to the back. Is it holding by? Uh, there is a tab. Okay. Give me a screwdriver. So there is a fl two flat heads. It looks like. Yeah, two uh, fasteners, plastic tabs. Yeah, no. Good God! What? That's a lot. Okay. Now pull it to the back. And, and out. Down, and that's it. All right. Okay. Now we got out. Remember this. This is the last layer. So we're gonna start removing the axle back piece here, and you're hold by what? Two forty. Two forty millimeters uh, lug no. nuts, and couple hangers here. Is one. And. Hand. Two here and Actually, two here. Actually, yeah, there is two here and two there. Well, we gonna spray some WD-40 around these uh, rubber hanger pieces or hanging pieces, so we can slide it <clears throat> easier. All right, I got one hanger out. So there's another one this side. I prefer actually to go and get one out of the other side. So, because once you disconnect this one, this side is gonna be loose. To work both sides, two of them on the other side, uh, while this side is loose, it's kind of hard. So let's get one out from the other you side. You can use some bungee cord if you guys want and just yeah, hang, hang it somewhere, around, but it's... It so, but since we are two together, even if some yeah, if... can hold and uh, while he's removing yeah, that's, these that's, rubber... Yeah, that's actually a very good point. If you're by yourself, yeah, you can do one side, hang it with the bungee cord, go to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's very okay. smart. All right. We got the main big uh, muffler. Uh, the one actually comes from this pipe. Uh, it's a big, huge one right there that's when you get the two tail pipes out of it from the other side now we're gonna work our way for this pipe i'm gonna go up and see the next connection point it will be okay i'm gonna put some bungee cord here just to hold it up just in case don't drop on me and we have another hanger here we have some uh, wires That's connected that. here, so we have to actually remove that and make it clear so this we don't a, we I don't destroy any harness. This is the oxygen sensor. Oh, I'm sorry. I think this is the oxygen sensor. That's box. oxygen sensor, yes. So we need to remove that. Uh, just first, let's clear the uh, the harness right here. Um, our my my next step is gonna be these two nuts. I think they're gonna be what? 14? Uh, I think it's the same like the back one. That's 14. Ten. What? 10. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's 10. We had to use the impact for this 14, and now the only thing left is that uh, hanger there. So, I'm just gonna. Go ahead and remove it. And I'm gonna help holding. And we have bungee cord in the back. It? Yep. Okay. From the front. If you guys don't have help here, you need like a stand or another jack to keep it in place for you. Okay, now we're gonna drop it on the camera. That's good. Okay, I'm good. Yep. I need to get that bungee cord. Yeah, we have a bungee cord right there to help us. He's gonna remove it. And it's 
gonna go right on his face. Okay, now it's out. I think uh, <coughs> the, the the kit came with a hanger here, uh, that, so we have to re replace the whole uh, uh, the rubber piece here because I was watching uh, and I was reading the people was complaining about if you connect your pipe directly here. Uh, it, it 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 uh, it Vibration? hit it hit the drive shaft. Oh. So I think there is a hanger to that will make, make it a little bit longer. longer. Now we're ready to start to install the new one, but make sure that's that's the the original. That the down pipe. That's the the down the, the yeah. We're like very close to the engine. There's a gasket here. It's not gonna work with the big pipe we're gonna install because that's gonna actually go it's, it's smaller than the pipe so it's got, it can actually be thrown inside the pipe so the kit actually came with this gasket so you can put it this way yeah i know it's so big but for the new pipe actually it's the good size for the new pipe you just want to make a seal tight connection here uh, you can go either way uh, we can use the old bolts, which is gonna go from the new pipe flange like this. It might come like out as a nut, not the whole bolt. In our case, when we use the impact, it came like the whole bolt. Yeah. But you might have just the nut comes out. But so. our lock actually, both of them came as uh, a yeah. whole bolt. So you can just go from, put the new pipe, and it's gonna be having the same flange like this. And the gaskets right in between, and you just go this way or you can use the new bolts and you can go straight this way using no nuts so now we're talking about that gourmet here the rubber they say put it on that orientation i'm gonna try to get the camera more close and get you the light right under it so when i look at the pictures you can see these facing toward the exhaust middle of the car the the end with like no grooves is facing toward the side of the car so that's how we put it the top one should be flush the, then you're gonna have to push the garment in to make sure it's all the way in and you want to make sure it's nice and vertical okay it's not uh um bent or uh, inclined anyway so it should be nice and vertical like this you want to make sure, as you guys can see, we have enough clearance. They say uh, about a finger uh, width. It depends on you, how is your hand, but we have good clearance all the way around. Even if you move it up and down, it's not touching, so that's what we need. Okay, guys, that's a 22 millimeter uh, here to remove the, or and install the oxygen sensor. Just a tab, we didn't detach the oxygen sensor from its connect here but that's require us i'm not sure if you guys can see let me try to get the camera okay so we didn't remove the plastic shield so we didn't really uh disconnect the connect of the oxygen sensor wire from the connection from here so we leave we left it as is and we just removed the oxygen sensor uh, from the exhaust from here and then we put the down the mid pipe here and we connect it back so when you connect it back you need to kind of un untwist the wire so when you put it in you make sure everything is nice and not like the wire is not twisted over each other you want to make sure it's nice like this so you don't want to damage the wire inside if you feel like you cannot do it again it's going to take a couple of time 
like we 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 could we start to screw it first then we found like no it's still like twisted so we have to remove it then we un untwist it like two turns then we put it back until it's nice and not twisted now is to how to rewire okay how to rewire everything here to make sure it's not close to the exhaust and it's not loose so i'm gonna remove that clip here okay so i can kind of get and i'm gonna remove these two metal and rubber uh bracket so i'm gonna get a, a flat head screw, screwdriver like this and try to open that metal bracket make sure don't damage your wires so i'm just gonna try to open it so i can remove it now we're gonna try to remove that clip You can remove that 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna do this. If you wanna, if you wanna remove the plug, now you can have access. You gotta try to squeeze your hand, or you move another bolt back there, the 10 millimeter back there. Okay, so you can pull that plastic more down and get more access. So you can remove the plug. Um, uh, I can also try to remove the other clip so I can make it completely inside not touching any metal or any so there is another clip inside here I wish you guys can see it okay that clip is the same like the one we removed here same way so we're gonna just remove it so we can wire uh, rewire everything underneath the shield So we don't have like a bent like this in the wire. So let's try to remove that clip in the inside. So at the end up, I removed the sensor plug. You just uh, need to fit your hand here and there is a the tap here, you depress on it, then you pull your plug, okay? So now we can, rerouting the harness so make sure it's nice and there is no paint on it and it's just gonna go like this in the inside and then we're gonna plug it back in so when it comes here these two lines will be on your side and the other, the other piece there where it's going to clip. So align it. Click back in. So now everything is rerouted. We can put our screws back here and everything looks good. Let me hold the plastic down so you guys can see how look inside so it's going here to the back not to the front anymore okay and again it's just laying all the way back there and it's not touching anything that will be like heating or melting or anything i hope you guys can see in the camera uh all the way around from here and how it comes out so so that's the front of the car and where is the o2 sensor is okay coming here laying in that depression area going inside the plastic so we have to remove two bolts 10 millimeter bolts of that plastic shield here the plastic piece push it in all the way as you guys can see it's here all the way all the way all the way then coming from the other angle and plug back here here so now it's good and safe now we're gonna put that plastic piece in place and then uh, we'll keep going 
so so far we uh, connected this one tighten it now we're gonna move to the second piece of the mid pipe over there so we're gonna put a flange and we're gonna get the mounting hardware that came over here Okay guys, now we're gonna go to our last piece, which is the exit back one. So he's gonna start hanging the rubber hangers first in all four corners. Then we're gonna again use the same uh, way for these uh, mounting hardware. You do put the bolt washer, then the gasket in between. Then the other side you have the washers and the lock washers and the nut. So uh, let's go ahead and get that last piece in. Okay, now we have the last two pieces here, which is a, uh, what's it called, tail pipe? Or what? Tail pipes. Tail pipes, yeah. Okay, let's go. So the tail tips here, or pipes, they want you to align. So the badge here, or the name is like leveled and on the outside, not in the inside, okay? And now, I will show you in the other tip. That flange, let me, Get the camera down. Okay, so that's the other side. You need to move, okay? Should be easy moving. Now let's go ahead and put it on. So again, that cork sport badge will be from outside and should be lying flat. But you're gonna need to put in all the way until it stop here okay then you're gonna move your flange to pass over your axle back piece so the flange will be on both the tailpipe and the axle back piece the other thing that they mention you want to make sure that you can measure from here all the way to there and should be at least 8.5 inches so um Let's get the measuring tape. Okay, so let's measure from here to there. Okay, we have less than eight and a half, so we can push that more in. Okay, now we have about uh, almost eight and a half, so I'm gonna try push it more in when I get as in as it can be okay now we have eight and the more a little bit more than a half so that's good so now i measured the length they say from here to there at least eight to eight point five again you can do that if you're gonna do it outside the car especially as you're asking that the nuts and bolts will be in the top and not shown so now I measure from here all the way there, and I have about uh, eight uh, nine sixteens in both sides. So now we are good to go. Use 15 millimeter wrench and uh, socket and tighten that to uh, 40, 40 to 45 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and get that tight. Okay, now we have this one here complete. As you guys can see how it's leveled with a logo on the side and looks great and it's stable in place we tighten it to the specification like they say 40 45 uh, foot pound looks good so now we're gonna do the same on the other side okay guys now we align these two pips in the back you guys can see it's in the center same on the other side Okay, now we will go ahead and uh, torque all the 17 millimeter that we had. We're gonna start from all the way in the front, down pipe, and then we're gonna move forward. 
we want to make sure when we do that we have enough clearance between the exhaust and the drive shaft so that's a very important tip okay so uh, let's go okay we're gonna start by tightening these two the one here on the other side again because we used uh, the one that came with the exhaust so we're gonna tighten it to a 35 foot pound these two here again that's the first one in the front between the down pipe and the beginning of our exhaust so let's go so now we torque these two I couldn't really film it it's very tight here I can open the camera and my uh, torque wrench is long so now we're gonna move to the um, the two bolt in the middle in the middle of the middle pipe now we go ahead and torque these two here and two in the back these two between the middle pipe and the um, the axle pack all these four is gonna be 45 foot pound then after this we'll put the shields the crossbars and the shield here's the X and the crossbar and then put the the insulator down here and we'll be done with the job and then we'll be back after we finish and we'll uh, give it a start and see how it sounds okay guys we got everything tightened torqued we uh put the shield the crossbar and the x bar that was under it we got all the tools and everything from underneath the car the last thing they recommend is to wipe the exhaust from any grease or fingerprint because once it heated it's not gonna come off so you get a cleaner i usually have a soapy water ready here and spray well and uh, i get some shop towels and i'm just gonna focus mainly on the back i'm not gonna really do the whole exhaust uh clean it then after this we'll drop the car and we'll turn it on start it hear it I'm excited about it but you want to hear yes you want to be happy a loud exhaust and all that but you want to make sure you don't hear any weird noises you check for exhaust leak so that's a very important tip okay check for exhaust leak and make sure there is no rattling or any weird noises other than the loud exhaust noise so let's go ahead clean drop the car down and see what everything will sound okay guys now we are uh, gonna give it a cold start see what's gonna sound like and we want to make sure we don't hear any like weird noises any rattle or anything then we'll give it some revs and see how it sounds so let's go let's try the app see if it's gonna start or not okay here is the app let's hit the start button Okay. Okay. take you inside and see like I uh, wish uh, you guys can hear so you guys will hear you barely gonna hear anything I mean like you, you hear definitely a difference between uh, the stock and between the cork sport one but it's not that crazy loud that you cannot drive with it I think so we'll give it a test to drive as well and we'll see how it sounds when you're driving Okay guys, we're gonna head, try to find the spot, we're gonna go to the highway. Yeah, I'm going easy, um, the RPM is around to uh, 2.25 or so, uh, so it's not that loud on the inside and that's very important. I had a Mustang before guys, it had didn't have a cat back, it just had that muffler, 
has a Borla or no, it has a Blue Master um, muffler delete exhaust kind of thing. These two uh, big uh, uh, exhaust boxes in the back. Almost so loud in the inside of the car. Like if you have a headache or you're not having a good day, you feel like I don't want to be inside the car because it gets very loud inside and. Uh, that's the nice thing that they did on this car here. Alright, so, so far I'm happy with the performance. That's number one. Now you can say, yes, I'm, I'm driving a turbo car. Before that, it was just like very quiet car. It was a little bit heavy in the response. So when you hit the throttle, you can feel like it, it want to go, but there's like something restricted. And now it just easily go. Uh, that's that's a huge difference that I feel when I have the exhaust and when I have the air intake guys you guys can check the, the um, I have a video for the burger air intake the stage 2 if you guys are interested in that how to install it as well um, but uh, so far I'm so happy with the performance from both together and also I'm so happy how in the inside is not that loud in the outside it is loud it's, there's definitely more louder cars if you want to do straight piping or anything like this but for me I'm happy with how loud is it I don't need to be a crazy loud and in the inside especially I'm happy with how ha it's a little bit louder than than the stock but not crazy and uh, that's the major thing that I was worried about uh, that'll be it guys for today's video if you guys like how we installed that if you guys feel like it's something you can do again it took few hours but I did in the garage with just stands and jacks it wasn't hard at all I encourage you guys can save at least if you take it to any exhaust it's gonna take like at least 300 to 500 dollars to install that for you uh, but if you have the DIY, you can go ahead and do it. It's not hard. I just wanted to record the the um, process on, on installation because sometimes the written instruction with the picture sometimes gets like tricky or you lose where we are, where is that spot, and all of this. So if you enjoy the video, guys, like, subscribe, and share. We also have a full build series for this 2021 Mazda 3. We got the Swift Recovery, uh, the Mazda 3, the Turbo One, and uh, it has a minor front end damage. Uh, if you guys want to check, I'm gonna leave the whole list of the videos we did.